Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I wanted to come to you with your oracle card guidance but I wanted to use just one deck of cards and the deck of cards that was calling me was the Enchanted Map Oracle card deck here and and we have a, a sweet buggy here. Oops, that's a bit of water from because I've just given it a rinse before I brought it here. Pardon me. I'm going to dab that up here. So we have the, um, yes, we have this one here. We have this one here. Okay. And uh, we have another one of these ones here, also probably with a bit of water in it. Okay, so I uh, hope you uh, feel drawn to one of these cars and you're able to choose, make a choice from here. And uh, yeah, take a moment to do that if you need to. And I'm going to go ahead and start the reading. Of course, you may go down to the description box where you'll find your timestamp as always. Much love to you all. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, that's the first option. The question we're asking today is what is it that you need to hear right now what is your oracle guidance for this week what is your oracle guidance for this week okay this card seems pretty keen on coming out and the card is one ring circus i feel drawn to reading the message that colleague baron reed has here in her guidebook the caption is, you are capable and competent. So it says, independence is key now as you may step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resources that you need. Recognize that all the wisdom you have acquired along the way makes you particularly competent, capable of moving forward with self-assurance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time. When you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you end and others begin, you are able to enter into the best kind of relationships and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness. Independent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. I actually recorded an energy forecast for this week and it talks about exactly that uh, for some of you. It talks about actually coming to terms with the or with who you are and knowing where you end and where others stop. So a lot of this energy feels to me like uh, it's martyr energy. There's this martyr energy, there's this feeling, there's this need to give up yourself in order to be able to create a great, greater good. But when you do that, you are not creating a greater good. You are only hurting yourself because you cannot give up yourself to create a greater good. Because in giving up yourself, it means that you're damaging the greater good itself because you are part of this greater good. All right. The other feeling that I'm getting here, um, so just by the way, these card, this card came out reverse, but I read these oracle cards in an upright fashion. Although Barrett, um, uh, sorry, College Baron Reed, she does offer a reversed uh, meaning here. And I just feel that because this card came out reversed that I, oh, I should actually read this to you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So it says the reverse meaning is that if you think that the sun won't rise without you, then it's time to change. Perhaps you believe no one will be there to help you or expect that you have to do all the work, emotional or otherwise. This is a fear-based idea and only serves to alienate you from others by taking away their right to participate. Receiving the One Ring Circus card may indicate the misuse of power. Give it up. Let go of the need to control how the wind blows and let others play their part. You don't need to be invincible. Have all the answers or be the savior. Things will get done if you step out of your own way. Yet another meaning for this card suggests that someone else may be trying to control you. This needs to be addressed. Don't be afraid to set a boundary. This is a wonderful step to independence. Consider the example of two trees planted side by side, sharing the sunlight equally, neither overshadowing the other. So it's basically the same message as far as I'm concerned, because it's talking really about you actually creating those boundaries, allowing others to participate not thinking that you are the one who needs to do everything here, not giving up yourself, not being that martyr. And you, in fact, by actually giving, trying to do everything for everyone else, you're limiting their potential to go on and do things for themselves. So if you give them the space to be able to grow and you have faith that they can grow 
and that they're doing what is right for them, then they have the potential to actually improve their lives and they have your support. So ask yourself, where is it that your limited beliefs of another's potential is actually stopping them from offering you the goodness that you can have in your life, as well as offering themselves the goodness that they can create in their own lives. And I think that is the pertinent question for those of you who've chosen this card today. All right, so good luck with that. And if you need a bit more advice with regard to that, then write to me in the comment section and I will see what I can do. All right, sending you all much love and I hope that message has actually been of use to you for today. So for those of you who've chosen this here, we are asking, what is it that we need to know? And what is it? What is our weekly oracle guidance? Ah, that one's fallen out, but I felt like this one needs to come out. So we have strength here. And just because this card's been thrown out, I'm going to turn it around. We have moonlight. Okay, so I think I know what's going on here. I think that both of these cards are relevant to you. And I feel that this card here, the moonlight, is talking about the current, the next full moon that's coming up, which is this full moon in Taurus. And I think that you can actually use it to your benefit. You can work with it. It can actually be very helpful to you. So keep that in mind as you go along and see how it is that you can actually make use or bring your power into being or manifest some of your power or put some of your, your energy out there and transform it into a kind of constant or staying power that you need. And you can be able to do this under the full moon um, that comes up. It is important for you to embody strength at this moment and to be able to embody strength, it is necessary for you to be able to tap into the resources that is around you, to be able to have that strength, to tap into the earth energy so that you may have that uh, groundedness, to tap into that fire energy so that you may rise your fire and control your fire that's within you, rise that that energy inside of you and know how to use it so that it's not harmful to others and also be able to hold the responsibilities that you have around you, to be able to have the strength to hold those responsibilities, to be able to do it effectively and responsibly and successfully. So I feel that yeah, there is a success in managing everything and coping with everything and being able to come to manage all in your life, all the challenges, all the, the all, everything that's required from you on a daily basis, you can actually use it you can actually manage it very well right now. You are coping really well and you need to be able to tap into the reserves, your reserves and see what's left over and know when it is that you need to draw more energy from that earth which is around you before you continue. So there is a moment when you need to go in with and when you need to be able to stop and say, okay, I need a break now and see and feel what it is that this break is, you know, maybe it just means that you've got to sort out some things around your house. Maybe it just means that you've got to clean up some things. Or maybe it means that, you know, you've got to file away a few things. But whatever it is, you're going to find that stepping inside of yourself, stepping away from the hush, uh, from the craziness and stepping inside of you is going to be able to be far more revitalizing and, re and restorative than you actually realize that it would be. And so the strength that you actually have, yes, you you receive it from being in balance and being a part of this world and accessing all the power that's around you, water, fire, earth and air. And it, as much as you are coping and really managing everything well at this moment in time, or you, it seems to be that way at any rate, you need to understand that your resources are being depleted along the way and you need to understand that you need to refill and re restore yourself, refuel your yourself and know when to step away from the spotlight into the shadows to be able to do that, to be able to take that time that you need for yourself. Now with the other, uh, with the first option, what I did is I read the message from Colette uh, Baron reed from this uh, guidebook that she offers for this deck. 
and I think it would be unfair not to do the same for you. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly read uh, these messages and perhaps they will also be of use for you as it was intended. So the caption for strength, your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from sincere faith in a higher power. The strength to accomplish even the most daunting tasks is yours at this time. You can connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off the course of evolution. As the potency of your connections becomes more obvious, you are able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. Have courage and dive in, for magic is in the process of finding a form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from the combination of your efforts and reliance on higher power working through you, all is possible. You can do anything now. So yes, it does feel, as I've mentioned, that here you are managing, you are coping, you are, you have everything under your control right now. But remember that you are drawing support from the from the elements, from this higher power that is noted in this book, and that that needs to be in balance. All right. I'm going to go ahead and read the, the message for Moonlight, which is your number fifty one. It feels like a healing energy, uh, your number 51, Moonlight. So the caption reads, your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane, logical and analytical, follow it. Moonlight beckons, come and trust your intuition to lead you into places that may not seem logical. Your hunches will be right on target. Resist second guessing yourself, for your alternative perception is especially sharp right now. You can see beyond the surface of things and truly read between the lines. This is a good time to use oracle cards or other systems of divination to gain information. Remember that the language of intuition is a symbolic one. It comes subtly through a hunch, a tingling, a clear sound or an animal or object crossing your path. Spirit is sending you messages to help you right now. Success is yours if you follow the signs. So yes, retreating into yourself, going into, tapping into that moonlight energy is actually talking about restoring yourself. It's talking about going in and healing yourself. It's talking about rekindling your energy. And as I mentioned, you might find, and as the book mentions, you might find that the way in which you do this is actually through doing something that you might not think brings you that joy. You know, it might be something really simple. But it brings you a great deal of peace because in the moment in which you're doing it, you are absolutely present and focused and you are, in fact, attaining a degree of bliss through your presence, through your focus. And it is a restoration. It is allowing you to be within yourself or to be part of that energy as you as you do that. When you step into yourself and you focus on what it is, it is, is at hand, you're not muddled by your thoughts. You're not taken on a on a journey with your thoughts, you are l more likely to be present in that moment. And just being present in the moment and in, with your breath is in fact very restorative and it will give you the power that you need to come into balance if you find that you are coming out of balance, all right? So that is your message for those of you who've chosen this object here. All right, I hope that's been useful for you. So for those of you who've chosen the third option right here, the question we're asking is, what is your guidance for the week ahead? What is your oracle guidance? What is the oracle saying to you? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? So it's the number 41, and I'm actually going to turn this around. I want to choose another card, so I'm just going to give it another shuffle. Just feel like there's more to this. And we have Gentle Gardener. So the first message I'm getting here is that it is necessary for you to be different to be able to differentiate between what others bring to you and where you need to be. The energy that comes your way or that is a part of your surroundings may not always be beneficial to you and it may actually upset your rhythm or your frequency and you need to be able to know how to get back to where what it is that soothes you and do what it is that suits you. I feel that the, this is the most important um, message here, to find your way back into your peace, regardless of what is going on around you. And if you can cultivate this, if you can actually remember and work on how to be able to bring yourself into peace, regardless of what's going on around you, th this is where your true power comes in. Your true power comes in 
in a space where you do not surrender to that which is going on around you or to the energies of another. It's almost as if these two energies are in contrast with each other. So an energy enters your life and it's your energy and your will has to be so strong that your energy doesn't give in to the other energy and doesn't allow the other energy in. So, and if it does, you need to be able to retreat and know how to be able to come back into your own frequency, into your own balance and bring yourself in the power that you already have for yourself. As I've done for the other cards, I'm going to go ahead and read a mess the message from the, the guidebook, which is right here. Uh, the caption here for number 41, Unexpected Visitors, is if you expect the unexpected, you will be prepared for miracles. So it says, detours, surprises, and paradigm shifts. Expect the unexpected, no matter how detailed your plans are and how clear you believe the road ahead to be. There are times when the best plans are waylaid by unforeseen circumstances. At first, detours may seem inconvenient, but a surprise turn of events signals that the adventure of life is beginning to get interesting. No one can plan for synchronicity, for fate and destiny to meet, except spirit who knows what you can't comprehend for now. Life is full of surprises, so stay on your toes and enjoy this exciting new adventure you weren't expecting. There is a plan for your life that may not match with your agenda. So I feel that this is uh, describing one aspect of this. It's it's describing the fact that, yes, you may be way uh, laid or led astray from your own focus for a while and this is something to be expected and it actually can be something exciting it might be something that would be like a bit of adventure although um i feel here that it's necessary for you to be able to get back on track after that adventure all right i'm just going to go ahead and read the other um message here it's the number two and it's the gentle gardener and the caption is be your own person be a conscious co-creator the gentle gardener is visiting you at this moment in your life to remind you that your thoughts, feelings and beliefs create the reality you experience. She is the embodiment of the energy within you that is sent out into the field of co-creation and ensures that all that you are is reflected in the form, in the world of form. Are you aware of your thoughts? What is their quality? Believe in limitless possibility and you will see miracles unfold. The gentle gardener guarantees the integrity of everything you send out in the world. Stay positive and expect a wondrous return. Your garden is abundant with beauty. I feel that to be at this point here, you've worked really hard to get there. You've worked really hard to get to that point where you've been able to put up your shields, where you've been able to protect yourself, where you've healed yourself from difficulty and come through a lot. And some new adventure or something may come into your life which may the um, bring this kind of instability or lead to uh, disruption in what you've been busy with and I think that it's important for you to come back into that spiritual space into that harmony that you have with yourself that's here I think it's important to be able to do that as you go along and to, in doing so to cultivate positive thoughts and feelings not to be afraid yeah what I'm saying here is not to create fear in you but rather to be able to uh, just give you a reminder, a gentle reminder, not to come off track because something exciting may be looming or because some somebody exciting is coming into your life to remain true to your goals and, and where is it that you're headed to and to revisit that space in yourself which is serene and blissful and which is actually the source of the power that you have in your life and that you seek as well. All right, so that is my message for you for this week. Um, it feels like a bit all over the place in the last um, the last one. But I hope that this reading has been helpful for you. And I hope that uh, these messages resonate on some level and that they actually uh, provide you with the help that you need as you go along in the weeks ahead. So wishing you much love, blessings abound to all.